Good morning, folks. This seems like a pretty good place to start. Tornadoes ripped through Texas yesterday, but amazingly, luckily, there's not one fatality. Believers say a prayer on that one, and there goes a truck. No biggie. As crazy as this looks, this is a computer model of the Japan nuclear debris dispersal pattern in the Pacific. The link will be below. Also below, the best microwave storm analyzer on Earth has just been put in NASA's hands. This is a good link on Earth's crust, some geological changes in the regeneration. We have another one of these extreme low pressure systems, this one over Japan. It is causing hurricane force winds in multiple places statewide. In China, they are finding radioactive tea leaves. All these green boxes here are red tide around the Philippines. Seven of the eight major waterways are unfishable, which is devastating to those people. A bit south in Vanuatu, we had a volcano go on watch. In Cyprus, one malfunctioning electrical generator component killed the entire power grid in a collapsing chain reaction. And folks, the Caribbean plate, Cocos plate, and the subduction zone of the Americas is on watch. We have had too much volcanic activity, landslides, bigger quakes than expected, especially in the Virgin Islands and the Southern Gulf. The Earth footprint is on the heels of 11452 with the filament just north of it. Don't let anyone scare you with this, folks. This is simply the spacecraft maneuvering. We didn't have any activity last night, but don't forget we will have a minor CME impact in the next 36 hours. We have the full moon coinciding with its monthly close approach to the Earth, simultaneous with Mercury and Mars in opposition geocentrically, and Saturn opposing the Sun just a few days afterwards. There's lots to watch out for here, folks. Ask questions if you need to. And be safe.